Thank you to everyone who supported this channel as it's grown. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I won't be doing the full fixture preview for you today. Instead, I'll be doing a condensed Would You Rather segment that I tried a couple weeks back. Just haven't had the time this week for personal reasons to put the full fixture preview together for Game Week 28. Instead, yes, the Would You Rather segment. I tried it ahead of Game Week 26. It was a lot of fun. I hope I have some success with it again this week. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter at the spot. 4FF, basically comparing two players of the same position group, similar skill level, should be similar fantasy players, but uh, I'll be picking one, uh, not just for this game week, but moving forward as well. Uh, between these two players, the one that I like more. All right, let's uh, debate the players for game week 28. All right, first up, who would you rather have, Raheem Sterling or Mohamed Salah? Well, when decided between uh, Sterling and Salah, the City midfielder has had an up and down year so far with no goals and no assists in his last four matches. Yes, he was dropped for two of those, but this is more about the upside for Salah. And what I like about him going forward is the impact of the return of Diogo Jota. And you saw it in their match against RB Leipzig when Salah scored. It wasn't just Jota's assist. After the pass, he ran wide, created space for Salah to dribble into and score. And I see Salah getting more of those opportunities and goals in the next few game weeks. All right, next up, who would you rather have? Leicester City's Ricardo Pereira or Chelsea's Ben Chilwell? Well, now for Leicester City's Ricardo Pereira and Ben Chilwell for that matter. Uh, fantasy numbers have been underwhelming for both of them. Chilwell, still a question mark. TB and Tuchel starting 11 from week to week. Pereira still searching for his first goal and assist this season, but I think he'll start to contribute more, especially when you think about the injuries uh, to Leicester City's attack with uh, Harvey Barnes and James Madison. So I'm hoping anyway that Pereira gets more opportunities to move forward and pick up an assist or two. So I would lean towards Pereira uh, between these two. All right, next up, who'd you rather have? Anthony Martial of Manchester United or Josh Maja of Fulham? The Manchester United forward has credit, was credited with an assist in the last match against City, but once again, Cavani is healthy, should return to the lineup soon uh, this weekend, and uh, Martial's minutes will probably shrink again. Whereas Josh Maja, he hasn't scored since his brace in game week 24 against Everton, but he's been getting chances, uh, had a goal disallowed a couple weeks back, and uh, he has an opportunity to, to get going once again. So uh, I would lean towards Josh Maja, and he gets the extra game uh, with game week 29 against Leeds. All right, would you rather have Gareth Bale or Rafinha of Leeds? I am leaning towards Gareth Bell, but a shout out to Joe Kula, friend of the show, who commented in the previous video and proposed a trade offer that he was re received in his league where he'd have to give up Bale for Sadio Mane. I told him that it's wise to cash out on Bale right now and get Sadio Mane. That was the offer that he was uh, that he was given in his league. But when it comes to Bale versus Rafinha, don't get it twisted. I'm willing to hang on to Bale for a little while longer, especially with the uh, production that you've seen from him in recent weeks. And finally, which of these Chelsea players would you rather have in your lineup? Kai Havertz or Hakim Ziyech? I'd roll the dice with Kai right now. He got credited with the two assists in the last match. One of them essentially a goal. It was called an own goal in the end. So I'm excited to see how he performs moving forward. Just uh, spending a little bit more time on Chelsea here. It looks like Christian Pulisic is going to be utilized as a player coming off the bench. Um, Hakim Ziyech is struggling to find his feet with his team as well. He looks great in some opportunities, but at the same time, he looks like a player that likes to play on the perimeter as opposed to, to, to getting involved in the box, which is what Kai Havertz said, which is why he gets in those opportunities to score. So that's another reason why I would lean towards Kai Havertz over Hakim Ziyech. All right, those are my player picks for game week 28. I hope that helps you out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter at the spot 4FF or you can find me on Clubhouse. Been spending a bit of time there. So if you're in Clubhouse, uh, search me, Asa Raymond. Uh, hope to have some fantasy discussions with you there. And uh, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for hanging out at the spot.